A Grand Rapids police detective working undercover sees a skunk being lit up by a red light. And what he finds is a Glock pistol with a laser sight on top of it that would later be forensically linked to the 2021 murder of a Grand Rapids teen. On May 29th of last year, Jaquan Lamar Calvin was gunned down on Grand Rapids' southeast side. This memorial sat, as the months passed, a testament to his family's loss. But four months later, on September 3rd, according to a Kent County search warrant, a skunk would end up being the catalyst for justice served. An undercover officer with Grand Rapids Police was in the area of Francis in Dickinson when he saw such a black and white striped critter being illuminated by a, quote, red laser light. The light coming from two men sitting in a black Nissan, aiming a pistol laser sight at the skunk, though the officer could only see a hand holding the gun, their identities obscured by a tree. Their Nissan is followed to Fish Ladder Park before a full-on chase ensues, police eventually arresting Robert Cook and Jamal Honorable on concealed carry charges. But a Glock 19 they had on them would soon be linked forensically to the murder of Jaquan Calvin, although the Kent County prosecutor Chris Becker says they do not believe these two men had anything to do with the teen's murder last year. In fact, over four months later, 18-year-old Kavari Nash is charged with killing Jaquan Calvin. We asked Prosecutor Becker just how they linked Nash to the firearm recovered after the skunk incident. His answer? Science. Unfortunately, he can't say much beyond that until the case comes to a close. But it is perhaps worth noting that neither of the two men found with the suspected murder weapon are listed as witnesses in the case against Kavari Nash. So we still don't know how investigators went from arresting two men with a potential murder weapon to arresting a few months later an entirely different suspect, though we hope to find that out soon in court. Kavari Nash is expected back in court next week. Hopefully we'll find out then and bring that to you. For now, in the newsroom, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.